Normally to see if a reaction has happened, you do what you probably did in high school chemistry. You measure how much reactant you start with, run the reaction, and when it's all over, you measure how much product you got. Only by comparing the amount of reactant and product can you tell that the reaction did indeed take place. But of course, to do this, you need to have a significant and measurable amount of both to see if anything happened. How can you tell if just one single molecule has changed? Well, you talk to this person. Andrea Armani is a professor in the Chemical Engineering Department in the USC Viterbi School of Engineering. In her lab, she's peering into the teeny tiny molecular world of reactions with lasers. Not with laser vision, mind you. That's ridiculous. Awesome, but still ridiculous. Let's say we want to see when this protein reacts with this enzyme. How can we tell? Here is what Dr. Armani does. She sets up a waveguide that is less than tenth the width of human hair and sends a laser through it. She knows the input of the laser and can measure the output on the other side. Now she attaches the protein to this waveguide. When this stuck protein reacts with the enzyme in the solution, it changes the optical properties of this waveguide and the laser output changes. By measuring this change, we can tell when things are happening right away. Detecting such small changes like this opens up many possibilities. For instance, we can do the same thing with strands of DNA to see whether or not they've been methylated, which is when a methyl group attaches to the DNA and can turn the DNA off. So in a way, being able to use lasers to detect the molecular world is a bit like laser vision, but it's way cooler because it actually works.